Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Tablet Adventures here on the K-Wings Let's Plays channel. WB Games International asked us to look at Scribblenauts Unlimited, which is now on iOS and Google Play. Yay! And uh, we did Scribblenauts Unmasked, but while we did buy Unlimited, I don't think we ever did anything with it. I don't think we ever recorded any gameplay or showcased it. That was just us channel. hanging out on the couch because that was before the K-Wings Let's Plays channel existed. Yeah, we actually bought it for ourselves for fun. <laughs> you can imagine that. We did that. that? Oh. <laughs> we used to just play games and, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting a serious sense Not of deja vu them. here. All right, so we got to turn a station wagon into a fire engine. All right, so um, instead of using the Wii U, we're using our tablet. And our and, fingers. And our fingers. Work with me, fingers. Magical fingers of awesomeness, of creativity. <laughs> Totes. I would so, say that uh, this game doesn't actually look too bad on a tablet. In fact, this is one of the nicest looking uh, tablet ports I've seen. Though I am noticing a little bit of slow time. Um, I do know that you need at least mm -hmm. 600 megabytes in order to download and play this game free on your tablet. And I believe it can take up a little bit more space as you're playing. So just, just keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah. I mean... It's got to be a little bit different than playing in a console because, Oops. you know, a tablet isn't as big of a gaming engine than, Red as that. paint. Aha! Red paint! That's how we're going to paint the uh, station wagon thing red. So, we actually did a very extensive series on uh, Scribblenauts Unmasked, which was the DC version, um, which was mm -hmm. the next game in the Scribblenauts family, I guess you would say. Yeah. So yeah. we were actually kind of surprised that we never did something on Scribble Knots Unlimited. Yeah. I swear I'm, we did at we one point. We were searching for it all over and I can't find it anywhere that we did Unlimited, but we're doing it now. So I'm kind of excited that they're bringing this to the tablet because... That's not a siren. I what is like, that? I want, I want like, like a, a police siren. That's like a that's alarm, an alarm clock or yeah, something. No, that's, that's like a, a fire alarm. Like, you know... Yeah. Uh, let's but, try. Um, I believe we are going to include a little link for you guys where you guys can download this. On, on both Google. iOS and Google Play. Yeah, yep. Google they'll, Play There'll and be iOS. links in the description. Yeah. So. But, um, yeah. I'm, I don't see police lights. That's kind of disappointing. This is making me want to go back and play the entire um, Unlimited. <laughs> but gaming is so like, no. So old. It's it's an older game, but it's also it would take a really long time. It, it's it never it, ended. As, oh really? Just oh, like yeah. um, Scribble Knots Unmasked. I mean, the only reason we did Unmasked, uh, in in all honesty, is because our love of DC, and we were trying to stump the game with all the different DC characters. But although it doesn't do well for like a series because it never ends, like for us, for a regular person purchasing the game, the fact that it never ends is awesome. Oh yeah, that that's a huge just like, <laughs> non non content purposes uh, i mean it's a great game if you're buying the game for yourself for us it makes it difficult to do a series because there's so much content and awesomeness and when we try to stump end. the game it doesn't work also this game is perfect for kids because there's a filter in place you can't write anything inappropriate you can't get away with really anything i and there's I, a lot of copyright blocks in this too which is surprising yeah. because this is a dc property like this is a warner brothers mm -hmm. uh, company that works on scribble knots but there's really no Warner Brothers stuff, but I guarantee you in a couple years, we're going to see an iOS and Google Play port of the DC of Unmasked. The Unmasked yeah. yeah. It'll take a couple years, though. So. I remember I'm like getting re really nostalgic playing, playing this game again. Because mm -hmm. I can remember when we first played this game. Uh, well, I don't remember if it was Unlimited or Unmasked that it was unlimited. that we were playing. and Because it was on the Wii U. That was our first yeah, introduction yeah, to the series. Yeah, that was the first time we played it. Because we didn't play it on the DS. I remember when we were first playing games together, it was really hard for me to find a game I could help you with since I wasn't that great of a gamer and I'm still not as great of a gamer as you. But you were you were telling me, oh, well, anyone can help you know somebody play this game, even if you're not good at gaming, because mm -hmm. you can help me think of ideas of how how to solve these problems like if you're creative like you think of dragons like it's kind of a game that even non-gamers can kind of have fun playing and you can play with your wife and your it's kids. fun to kind of stump people i mean what we did in scribble knots unmasked all the time is have zombie invasions vampires we would have wars of superheroes just type in different superheroes and supervillains and have them battle in the city and yeah. like uh, make them invincible or all kinds of stuff so we're, we're gonna make the um 
uh, angry dragon so that he'll destroy the cars because it said there's a traffic jam. Uh, I got an achievement. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Try this instead. What I love about the Scribblenaut series is you can think outside the box to solve problems. The reason why I thought we did this game is because there's a part in the tutorial where there's a cat in a tree, and I remember I sent, like, a cyborg or something to destroy the tree. Oh. It ended up wiping out the village, but the cat got out of the tree. There you go. Whereas in this you tutorial, I just, like, made an escalator and went up the tree. Yeah. So, I mean... Even with the copyright restrictions, this game is really fun. I mean, your only limit is your imagination. There are ways that you can get stuff into the game that would be crazy, like samurai robots and escalators and yeah. um, UFOs and all kinds of stuff. Jetpacks, you know? It, I love yeah. making my character fly because I don't like walking. And all <laughs> I'm doing is moving my finger along the tablet and yeah. we're making Max fly around. I'm surprised that they were able to incorporate the touch uh, controls. It doesn't work too bad. I mean, I personally like the joystick. There is joystick support from what I saw of the press release. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually did get a joystick from our friends over at Gameloft. They sent us a nice little care package. Oh, and yeah, uh, I'm still trying awesome. to figure out how to use joysticks on tablets. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, not really but with the hip lingo. So right I'm still now using my we are using fingers. our... Our magical, just our little My digits. greasy pizza fingers. No. <laughs> from Pizza Hut, yes. It's kind of yeah, not working too well. Yeah, we had some... Actually, we have a... Tar well, yeah, totally unrelated. We have a Target... Product placement! <laughs> we have a Target near us that you can get a pan pizza. Like, Can right you get there. a personal pan pizza? What type of pan pizzas? You can get either cheese or pepperoni. What about breadsticks? Is there breadsticks? Yeah, okay, there I'll are stop. breadsticks I'll stop. We're going to make well. this car fly. You can even get uh, some <laughs> chicken Alfredo too. Oh yeah, that's right. It's a it's an express, um, which is totally different than a Holiday Inn Express because that is considered like a sweet place. But every else that says express usually means it's just a limited. Thing. Yeah, express usually means the uh, the quick version, quick quickie mart, quick and easy version. Yeah. But no, this this is uh, I mean, I I love this. This is this is fun. But I, if I was going to do a series on it, in all honesty, it would have to be on the Wii U because that one just, I don't know, it, it, we have it lying around somewhere. I love the Wii U. I love it so much. I'm kind of curious what they're going to do with the NX. I, I don't I don't know. I have this feeling it's going to be kind of like what the GameCube was. They're really going to be pushing that hardcore audience and then it's only going to sell like 20 million copies. But I mean, that's yeah. basically what the Wii U did. It was just kind of like... Not that much. Well, I'm just glad that um, I'm really happy that WB Games reached out to us about this game. It made me feel warm fuzzies that they remember us and <laughs> want us they and, know and, uh, our names. <laughs> that they that they know that we look at. Of course, we always actually we look at a lot of things that may, are made by WB Games. So we're kind of fans. <laughs> Let's use lightning to bring fans. the dummy back to life. Oops, didn't work. Okay, maybe a little higher. It's I'm alive! All right, Kiwing, I think I might have to actually buy this game. Or, I'm sorry, download it. I, I believe it's free at first. No, oh, I'm it's sorry. Like, I think it's like six bucks. Okay. I, I don't really all remember. Right. Sorry about that. Uh, well, I'm going to have to get this game for my tablet. It's on our tablet. You can oh, play it okay. whenever you want. What about mine? I have a little tablet, too. Oh, I might right, have to yeah. get it on mine. Because um, I actually, you know, this is... I just like relaxing games like this just to, you know, just get my mind thinking about other things, you know, just. It, it's good for your mind because it, it keeps you sharp. I mean, we just gave that guy a psychologist because he was thinking about starting a fire. I mean, <laughs> you could give him stuff to start a fire, but now he's like, I'm going to give up my evil ways. And, That's you know, nice. maybe he'll end up marrying said psychologist. I don't know. <laughs> It's so amazing, like, how much code... I don't know how much coding they would have had to done to... Uh, you know, like, there's a million and one ways to solve every puzzle. So. Oh, yeah. And you can actually... You can fail puzzles by bringing in mummies and aliens and things like that because people run away out of fear. So... Yeah. I also remember when we were first playing this game... I don't know if I said it on Scribble Knots Unmasked, on. but... Uh, when we were playing it, but this would be the greatest way ever to teach uh. about adjectives, nouns, sentence structure, because you learn, you know, you add adverbs powder. and adjectives, you know, powder. The, the the blue powder. I'm, I'm trying to activate this stupid alarm. Uh, yeah, that's a start. Smart. Those no. Are, start isn't an adjective. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's not an adjective. See that? Yeah. 
All right, it's been a while since I exactly. need to remember <laughs> adjectives and objects and start, things like that. Uh, you start know? would be an action word. Yeah. It's a verb. I should sing you the song. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I can't remember uh, Schoolhouse Rock song. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Band, we'll, we'll, Rock we'll cheat. There times. are always ways to get around problems, even if... Write an object. Let's do... Electricity, Electricity is Technically an object. an object. Yeah. Okay, that's just lightning. Electricity is a thing. Hmm. That's not... It's not gonna let us I wish I could just play this game instead of going. Le Wouldn't it be awesome if instead of having to go to school to learn sentence structure, you could just play Scribble Knots? It would be awesome. That it's would, basically that the would same be my thing. type of uh, school. Yeah. yeah. You know what? When I start my own school someday, that's gonna be that's gonna be mm. it. It'll be this game. What about? It makes learning fun. You know, we're just gonna go up to that alarm and try to put it on ourselves because. It's not really working with me, so let's get a ladder. I made an escalator, like, in the tutorial, so let's see how a ladder works. Come on! Really? Uh, I thought that would put me a step ahead of everybody else, but not oh, so much. Oh, a step ahead. Oh. Oh, come on! Wait, why couldn't you just fly up there? I thought you had a jetpack. Uh, my j your, your stuff gets removed, like, over oh, time, so you okay. have to, you like, have to go back and stuff. do yeah. the next uh, objective. So let's, um... Dude. I'm really not helping K Wing at all right now. I'm just like letting him go on his fly. own. Just like talking over it. We're gonna make him I'm fly in. Helping. See, you don't even need to make a jetpack. You can add an there, adjective and now he's flying. Now you are flying. Now I am flying. So, um, wow. Well, play sound. Alarm tested. Woohoo! The alarm on this floor is functional. So, I mean, yeah, uh, you make an escalator or a flying animal and somehow get up there. So, that's, that's how that. Works. I just had this weird thought, but do you have any idea if this game is translated into other languages? Uh, that's a very good question. If it is, then that would be the perfect way to learn other languages, because yeah. this teaches you all about Do they have it in Korean? <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're really lazy with our Korean yeah, lessons. Yeah, it's like, if I could just play a game to learn another language, that would be awesome. Yeah. Actually, you know what I would do if I wasn't a YouTuber? I think I would find some way to do, like, language-based games. Like, you know, like, Mavis Beacon, the typing tutor? Like, mm -hmm. what if there were fun games that you could do that were actually, like, really enjoyable to play, but they also taught you stuff? I actually have, uh, weirdly enough, I have a family member. I have an uncle and aunt that actually does something like that. Yeah, I remember. They, yeah. uh, they teach kids who speak Spanish to learn English and would like fun interactive games. Fun entertainment. Uh, they, they live in Texas or something, so. I won't say their names. All right. I'm this related this to guy them. says that he's having a problem hearing his uh, wife snore, okay. so we're just going to make him dead. <gasps> oh my God. Now you don't hear it anymore. <gasps> That's terrible. Maybe you should have made him deaf. <laughs> that would be wrong. I mean, he might be happy. I mean, snoring is scary, so we're going to make him alive. Oh, you could have given him earplugs. Earplugs don't really work, but fine. We'll write earplugs. Earplugs. How would you know? <laughs> I lived in a house with lots of snoring. What earplugs do you... don't work. Yeah. And it might even be What are you closer. saying about me, Kami? <laughs> Never mind. We're going to move on from this subject, and let's make... Uh, whoops, sorry, that's Tink. not... Stop snoring. Yeah. Robot... Whoops, sorry, that's not how you spell helmet. Helmet. Helmet! There you go. There. Now she has a helmet. She'll be happy. Oh, why isn't she wearing Apparently it? Apparently she's afraid of the helmet. Oh, because it's a robot helmet. It's and just a helmet. Don't you know that all robots are evil inherently? No, they're not. Look, there's nothing wrong In with the In every movie, robots always try to take over the world. Come on, Kaylee. Okay, what about the movies where the Terminator, a Terminator appears and actually helps people defeat the robots? Wait, he actually Did does that? Yeah, he does that. Terminator oh. Judgment, Terminator oh. Genesis. Okay, fine. Terminator 3. Wait, what's I guess you Terminator got me Genesis? there. Terminator 3 is Genesis. No, wait, you know what? I lost track of all the Terminators. Let's give her a regular helmet then. A and, fire helmet. And Wally. Why? Why? A fireman helmet? <sighs> Just what about a unicorn helmet? There. Regular helmet. This is not my helmet. Mine is in a locker. Well, oh, I don't like you. You have to actually find her helmet. I'm not going to find her helmet. That's too much work. What time is it? Can I go home yet? I'm not your boss, but I will give you a watch. There. Hmm. Now, people don't know how Max magically makes stuff appear. He has a notebook, and anything he writes in it 
within copyright and other guidelines, will appear <laughs> and come to life. <laughs> That's right. His his notebook is bound by copyright laws, and even can, though it's magical. Yeah, you can add adjectives to things. Even magic can't supersede copyright. Why, why can't... Uh, <laughs> That alarm looks like it's Oh, busted. and he has to save his sister, right? Yes, his sister is turning to stone in this one. Work! Okay, that that didn't work. Working? No. Um, uh, noisy. There. Noisy. Oh, still. Oh, now it's like all busted. <sighs> it's been busted. Um, mm. Well, we kind of cooked it. He should be happy, but he's not. We could steal it, pick it up. How about we turn on the oven? Just to troll him. Hey, fireman! Doesn't oh, that good smell job. good? It's bird steak. Yum. So good for you. I wonder if that thing will keep burning if you keep it. What does it mean tenderized? Does he need a knife or something? Mmm. I guess I'll turn off the stove. Let us use... Tenderize. Uh, sword. I always use swords to tenderize, so maybe he'll be happy with that. <laughs> Apparently not. Grr. What did he say is wrong with the steak? He I wants thought... to tenderize it. Steak needs to be tenderized before we can cook it. The steak needs to be tenderized. Write an object meat tenderizer? Mallet? Wouldn't that no. be, like, smashing things, though? Well, that's kind of what tenderizing is. You know is. what? We're just gonna turn him into a vampire. Sadness! Mm. Yep, you're a vampire now. Go go play with your steak. Um, let's see what else can we Maybe do. Maybe if to him? we add the adjective to the steak. We're or gonna something. give him a cape. Drag claws to Max. Oh, only Max can wear them still? Wanted to give him a cape, then he'd be like a vampire guy. Alright, so there's there's my fashionable. Your cape looks a little like You know, it it works, okay? It's a kinda looks like a parka slash cape. Help survivors defend against zombies. Oh, they do have the zombie stuff in here. Okay, no big. Fire station invasion start. Start the. Oh, I see. Everything, every new objective, it, it goes back. Yeah. See, so remember doing this one? It's the you yeah. have to build a mecca and things like that. <laughs> I do remember. So they kind of just. Fall. Uh, this is the story of the the. Uh, yeah, they ported the it beginning. over to the tablet. The city has been overrun by zombies. Each of the survivors needs. I know we beat this game. I'm pretty sure we did. I can't remember though. It was like 2000 and. Uh, 12? Was it? Yeah. Yeah, I think we just played this the entire way through for fun, though. Yeah, we did. We did, so we didn't go insane, like, working on YouTube. <laughs> I can't remember when we started our Gaming's Let's Plays channel, though. 2011. Oh. Wait, so no. No, 2012. Oh, but we weren't, like, actively posting, like, all yeah, the time. Yeah, we didn't post no, everything. No, we didn't post actively until 2013 or 2014. I think. We only had like one series going. I mean, we've come so far. Like before, we just had like one series a day. Now we have like three series a day. And on the weekends, we have like four or five, depending on, you know, if we're yep. doubling up on episodes or whatever. So, and just so people know, the really kid appropriate stuff is from like 7 a.m. until about probably 3 p.m. And then we do some T rated stuff in the evening. But it's all. It's all family friendly. It's all family friendly, and if parents are worried about anything, we do have ratings, so if you don't want your kids to watch it, we totally get it. But our stuff is always, our commentary is always 100% A-OK. -okay. Mm -hmm. Our jokes oh, might be not funny in a sense, but, you know, if, if you can get past <laughs> that, then have fun. <laughs> I've been told that my jokes are very corny and dated, so... Yeah, I think I wrote some of those comments, actually. I knew it! You are my biggest troll. <laughs> yeah. So we gave the little girl a mom. I have, like, five different names, and I kind of troll you with them. The soldier is convinced that a few simple objects can be combined to make a fighting machine. Place three objects inside to make a mech. Oh, I know what kind of mech we're going to make. Oh, oh I'm, I'm gonna objects. I'm going to tweak the game. Ready? Puppy. Puppy. That's right. There's the puppies in the box. Um. Baby. What? Yes. What are you doing? Oh, yes. I'm doing it. Added a power... Uh, so a baby is a power source. Okay, game. What? Monkey. What? No. Puppet. Baby. Monkey. I am not a puppet, fan baby, of that. Monkey. Puppet, baby, monkey. Okay, um, the dog... Puppet. The puppy left. Baby. Monkey. Ro whoops. Sorry, robot. 
A Wait, this said bitch. Robin? What Robin was that? All right, so... Uh, um, there's a bird called a Robin. You added a sturdy body to mix... Okay, so what else do we need to put in there? A weapon or something? Let's do... Water gun. That's how I complete my Gundam. <laughs> you added something to help against... <laughs> you added... So we made a mecha with a water gun. The fire station needs to be evacuated. Distract the zombies while the other survivors escape. Hop in the mech when ready. Okay. It just looks like a, it doesn't look like a monkey mech. It just I know, like I'm kind of disappointed. I wanted to see a robot monkey baby. No, I did not want to see that. It's disturbing. Puppy baby monkey. It's a commercial that I don't like that Caving's trolling me with. Puppy That's, baby monkey. Those three things should never be combined, ever. They look disturbing. Together. They're disturbing cute. as zombies. Uh, separately, they're cute. Oh no, it's gonna make you zombified. I'm in a mech, it can't hurt me. Oh, okay. That's the joys of mechs. So we could steal, we could shoot them. Oh, poor zombies. Well, let's let's make oops, sorry. Sleeping zombie! So Sleeping. you can actually click on the enemies and put them to sleep. And then you can make a yeah. Yeah, then you can attack them, you can do whatever you want. Adding to an them. adjective to them. I don't remember how to make them <laughs> it's a tired zombie. Blech. Tired. Um, he, he's had a hard day at the zombie office, so he's like, I'm done. Um, we'll just attack his friends while the other ones are napping. I like making them tiny or giant. That's yeah, fun. you can make them small. Um, you can make lightning appear and zap them. Uh, yeah, see, but Yay, it, it doesn't really wipe them out too much. Hey, look, there's uh, zombies with monocles. I wonder if you wrote the term, like, I don't know if we tried it before, but... Like, alive, if they would become unzombified. I've never found a way to make them unzombies. Like, once I make somebody a zombie, oh, either you like have to wipe everybody everyone. out. Because look, the dragon just turned into a zombie. Yeah. But it says we completed the task, so... I wonder if unzombified is a word. <laughs> mm, no. No, I've tried that in other Scribblenaut not. games, and it doesn't work. I mean, in the comment section below, if you guys know to how to make zombies unzombies without destroying them, let us know. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Wow, one hit from our puppy baby monkey mech, and the <laughs> dragon goes down. So. I want a mech like that. It's cool. What if we brought in a ninja warrior? Ooh. Whoops. Sorry, sorry. Typo. Typo. Hands are still sticky from the pizza. Warrior. Warrior. Ninja warrior. No eating pizza before playing a tablet game. You had it right there. Oh, there we go. Okay. It would only let me bring in a ninja. Ninja. And he became a zombie. So now the ninja is against us. That's sadness. That is very sad. Why? Why you got to be like that, uh, ninja? Yeah, to destroy a great warrior. I know, right? It's kind of doing his own thing. Um, now you can get other costumes Yay! and stuff in this game, but you do have to purchase them. So the difference between this and the consoles, it is once you buy it. I mean, you do get access to the game, you can play it, but if you want to do different costumes for Maxwell, you are going to have to pay money for it. Just like most okay, tablet games. yeah, because, you know, they can't just hand out free stuff. Otherwise, they work hard Give for me stuff. free stuff! <laughs> and here's Lily. She's slowly turning to stone. And the whole point is to collect these little stars so that Lily gets better. Because game developers have to eat and pay rent. <laughs> yes, totally. So this globe, uh, if I remember correctly, it shows you different areas where you can go in the game. Like, Lily's like, oh no, sad face, I'm turning to stone. I don't remember if we ever saved her, though. I don't think so. She was oh, to yeah, stone. I know, that's sad. But anyway, guys and gals, that does it for this uh, showcase. Yay! Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. We hope you had a lot of fun. And uh, we'll see you on the K-Wings Let's Plays channel with something. If you want to check out this game, look in the description and go play it for yourself on either your iPhone or your Android device. So, God bless and happy gaming. See Thanks ya. for watching.